Hi everyone, today is Tuesday. We're still in the week of hope. My name is Janelle and this is my husband Byron. And today we are reading Luke 1, 29 through 33 in the NIV version. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the most high. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David, and he'll reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. I wanted this verse for hope because Mary's response is just like, okay, cool. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure internally that's not how it felt, but that's basically what she says. Whatever you say, and not only does she say that, but later it goes on to say like, that she um, will be seen as being blessed and favored among all people for doing this, even though this was a huge sacrifice. Like she was engaged to be married to Joseph and she was just told that she's going to conceive a son. Joseph could have divorced her. She could have been ostracized. Like she wasn't agreeing to something easy and yet she agreed to it so quickly. And I think that's because not only did she have faith in God, but she had hope in the future and hope in, in the Messiah, right? Like she was just told like, you are going to carry the Messiah yeah. and he's going to be here. And she had so much hope in that place that she was able to say with, you know, certainty that like, yes, like I'm ready to do this. And not only am I going to do this, but I know that I'm favored and blessed because of this. <clears throat> right. Totally. And it's such a good example then to have Mary's response to God, and as opposed to like Zechariah's response to mm -hmm. God, where Zechariah is like, okay, how can this happen? I'm so old, you know, but then Mary had an open heart and received it. And I can say like, I need to work on that in my own life where mm -hmm. like oftentimes, like if I hear things or I feel like even God's prompting to step into something, I'm like, well, God, you know, excuse a through Z, you know, I can just like come up with so many excuses in my heart and in my mind to like not step into those places, but to see how she could do this where, yeah, it was a very serious circumstance for mm -hmm. her. And oftentimes like, I'm not facing anything as greatly as this. So it's like, what, just to have that sort of humbleness and mm -hmm. just to be like, I am my Lord's servant. Mm -hmm. And just to step in and be like, okay, I am my Lord's servant. And that is the biggest relationship I need to be focused on is between me and God and what he's prompting me to do. And to let that guide me and to like face any circumstance with the hope that I have in him. Right? And at least now we have our hope based on past promises fulfilled mm -hmm. we have the cross to look to mm -hmm. you know and so she like she didn't have i mean she had an angel you know right. but yeah it's just such a good thing to lean on her example right she didn't know yet what all of that was gonna everything that was gonna happen and what all was gonna come from saying yes to this i think it's also important because the last question i asked there in the devotion part is how can you have hope even when the circumstances are difficult or confusing and one of the things that Mary demonstrates here is just saying yes. She didn't in that moment actually do anything. She just said yes to what she was being asked to do. And a lot of times it's stepping out. There's this um, girl, I forget her name. She's on Instagram. She's very popular. Um, but she says, you know, people often ask me, like, how, how did I overcome my fear? How did I overcome my anxiety? And she's like, I don't. I just do it. I'm scared. You know? And I think a lot of times having hope is stepping out even when you aren't entirely sure mm -hmm. because you still see that you have your eye in the prize, so to speak. You see that I know God is going to come through for me. I know he's come, gonna, has come through for me in the past or has come through for other people in the past. And so I'm going to step out in hope and in faith and follow through on this, you know. And sometimes there's just those little steps going forward that allow you to then be brought into the fulfillment of where God wants you to be. Right. Yeah. All right, well, that is Tuesday, and we'll see you tomorrow, guys.